All right, let's do this. Sorry, I'm a little late, very busy. Hello, Todd Payne, welcome. Um, yeah, a little bit swamped at the moment, completely swamped at work and at home. Um, so I'm sorry if uh, I haven't been um, um, answering comments lately. Uh, I haven't had the time yet. Um, I will try to do that as soon as possible. Um, and also have been uh, cleaning up some played with cars before the video. So let me know if you want to see those two at the end of the video. Good morning, JK. Welcome. How are you? Hello, Winola Piran. So today we've got some UK diecast. Um, Rudimons, goedemiddag. <laughs> Smakelijk eten. <laughs> uh, so we've got HTI Teamsters and the Corgi brands today. I thought of including the Lesney Matchbox, but uh, I don't really have uh, nice minty Lesneys. I only have played with ones, and uh, yeah, you know, it's the, uh, not very re representable for the Lesney uh, brand or the Matchbox brand, I should say. So I think there's other people with much better collections than me when it comes to Lesney. So I kind of want to stay clear of that. Um, so the HDI Teamsters, the only licensed vehicles I have. Hey, uh, David Harper. Yeah, I'm about uh, 10, 10 or 15 minutes uh, later than usual. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, very busy. So, HDI Toys, that's the parent company, like Mattel is the parent, parent company for Hot Wheels, and their uh, die-cast cars they call Teamsters. Hey Hussein, Saudi, well, you probably have seen these Teamsters already in these fantasy cars, in these window boxes. HDI, you can see here, Teamsters. Yeah, JK, these are not sold anymore. So uh, nowadays in the stores, you can find these fantasy ones. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I only took this one because it's a, a towing vehicle, tow truck for my tow truck collection. But I was not interested in any of the other ones. Some do like do look like real cars, like there's like a uh, one that looks like the new Mini and uh, some other stuff. Uh, okay, so in UK you can get them in Smiths and Tesco. Yeah, a lot of places you can get these. Is this taped? Yeah, this is taped. Well, I don't think they have to worry about people taking them out of the packages because they're so uh, so crappy. I don't think anyone will, uh, will attempt to steal these. But anyways. The window box probably costs more than the vehicle. Uh, so this has a, a metal cabin. The white part here is metal. And then the black is plastic and then the, the back is plastic too. You get some uh, tail lights details, some side detail, nothing in the front. And a uh, kind of a part of the window piece, but there's some red in there. It's not really painted. I don't know what that is they put in there. Kind of a piece of plastic or something. Hey, Dakas dude, welcome. This does go up and down like that. Don't know why it would go that far, but anyways. Kind of funny. But, you know, it's got a, an articulating feature. It's kind of cool. And a big post in the middle, but yeah, uh, Matchbox has, has those too, so... So that's when it comes to the uh, fantasy ones. Not very interesting. So here's the 
address of the HDI group in the UK. It's a UK company. So one of the few ones, they also make other stuff. One of the few ones, ones. Hello GB models, welcome. So three five packs with licensed vehicle in them of Mercedes and BMW and one Mini. Yeah, there's some uh, farm stuff here for you, Dikas dude. You like that? I got those for the uh, defenders. Obviously. So, um, one thing to notice here. So, the, these say Teamsters. These have another symbol on them. These are called Wheelius. They are sold by a local, or they were sold by a local toy store. Not the stupid toy store, another one. Um, and they were clearancing them, so I got a few of those too. Just uh, the same, exactly the same blister. Hey, Marco McLaren. Yeah, no problem. You can uh, you can rewatch it tomorrow. Thank you for stopping by and letting us know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Jay. We have uh, we have more than one uh, toy store. One is more stupid than the other, though. Um, only the cart board is a little bit different. Here you got the hook, and here you got the closed part. No, no, it's stupid. It's not silly. Silly. <laughs> and in the back, same size cardboard, just a little bit different uh, mumbo jumbo on there. So that's them. I'm going to open them up. Obviously, just going to look at some uh, at the packagings first. And here's those farm ones. These came from uh, a different store, together with the other Teamsters ones. So I got them for the Defenders, obviously. Farm Collection. Here's their uh, website, if you want to check that out. So let's uh, look at the uh, five packs with the licensed cars. This one I already opened up because I needed the mini in here for the mini video. Kind of folds open like that. just drop out like that so on the base you get the name of the car BMW Z4 made in China and the HDI logo these are screwed together so you could swap out those uh, wheels they're pretty basic they're like the RMZ City ones and the Maester ones you know all those basic brands have kind of the same style wheels these are actually full tempo so you get the tempos all around. In this case, you get some silver paint here on the side. You get the headlights and you always get a logo in the front. There's only one that has a logo in the back. That's the mini. The other ones don't get the logo in the back. You do get the tail lights. You get a uh, pretty okay interior. I'll try to show it. It doesn't look that bad. It's, uh, Pretty detailed. Such a basic car. So you get the, the the canvas top cover here, also painted black. So even on top you get some uh, some deco. So all in all, not bad. Here we got the BMW X6. So here you get the rocker panel painted black. On most of them you have the window surroundings painted black, but that's not the case here. Again, silver paint, even the fog lights get some paint. 
You remember the um, para, para 64 I showed in my chase report? It did not get the paint in the grill. Well, this cheap one even gets some silver paint in the grill. It does have a, a strange line here on top. Don't know if it's in the paint or just on top. The base clicks into the body and we get the taillights. So these wrap around the corner so they're they're not like kind of a corner side tempo. Then we got the M class by Mercedes Benz. So here you get the black paint on the B pillar, get the roof rails painted black. The Mercedes logo in the grill, the skid pl plate here painted on the bottom part of the bumper. Yeah, JK, they're nicely detailed for what they are and how cheap they are. Yeah, it can make or break a casting, the uh, having the taillights or not. Again here, skid plate painted. Seems to have even some paint on the rear window around around it. So not badly detailed. Let's see if we can see inside, but the dark interior is kind of make it hard, probably. But you know, interiors are okay. You know, got some detail on the dashboard. You can see the uh, ventilation openings. So all in all, not that bad. Hey, John Lamont, welcome. You've got the Mini, I've already shown this in the Mini videos, Mini Cooper S. So we got the wheel arches painted, rocker panel, the top painted white, and then the window surroundings all painted black. Bonjour, Roblox 27, soyez la bienvenue. Then we got uh, the grills, the headlights, and a very tiny Mini logo, very nicely done. Even the grills here on top painted black. Black bumper part on the base. Even the chrome bezels around the taillights are painted. And this one, as I said earlier, is the only one that gets the logo in the back. I guess many demanded that for them to do that. But yeah. Calimera. Young timer, old timer, Model Autos. So, did you ch just change your channel name, or did you change, uh, or did you just start a new channel? I was kind of curious about that. But as I said at the beginning of the video, kind of swamped right now, so I have not been able to um, answer your comments yet. Uh, I did uh, read most of them. So, tempo-wise, these are pretty nice. So this is probably a production code, but I don't know what it means. So I could not tell you that. Okay, so you, you have a new phone, but you forgot the password. So you just had to start a new channel, I guess, then. So, lots of detail here on the front. The grill even has the black and the silver paint on it. I think that's a nice, nice touch. Black painted windscreen wipers. Again, black details around the windows. They did not paint the taillights, obviously, because it's red. So the exhausts are part of the base. They kind of made uh, an opening for them. So if you change out these wheels, you can unscrew them. I think these would look pretty okay. So that's the first one. Then we got the second one. This is what they look like in the packaging. Going to have to make a few cuts here. Hopefully not in my finger. To get, whoops, started opening these.
So here we have the same Mercedes E-Class saloon in black. So here it does get the taillights, obviously. So here's the C-Class saloon, again around the windows. Grill detail in the front. And the taillights done. We got the X6 again. They kind of misprinted the black tempo on the windscreen or windshield. As you can see it's a little bit too low. Can we see in there? That's hard. And nothing on the back because it's a red one. This one's got the exhausts molded into the casting. Oh, we get some black paint here on the bottom of the bumper. So there is a back tempo too. And here on the rocker panel as the, with the silver one. Oh, sorry, the white one. Here we got the X5. Again, roof rails and the window trim. Lots of details in the front. In the back, the taillights and the bottom of the bumper. Again, taillights in the molded into the casting. So the casting goes all the way down. So quite a lot of metal on it. They did not cheap out on metal. Again, looks pretty okay. The dashboard looks accurate to the real vehicle. Then we got the Mercedes SL. Here we got that grill painted black and silver. Interior looks okay. Dashboard does not look that accurate, I have to say. Get the door cards too. Kind of a crooked tempo here. I mean, the black is not painted everywhere. Yeah, it's crooked here too. So the, the stamp. And we got the tail lights. And then the last one, it's got these in it. So luckily there's no repeats in these five packs, they're all different. Here we have the C-Class in blue. Let's see if we can uh, look inside. Windows are a little bit dirty. Hey, diecast dude. How are you? ML in white. Again, seems to have a little bit of a crooked tempo in the front. This one really shows all the, the detail in the trim they apply. Not bad. We got the SL in red. Thanks, DD. The X5 in silver.
Yeah, these are very basic cars, JK, so paint is not uh, perfect. The BMW 3 Series sedan in the orange. I had to look at a whole bunch of different packages to find one that was halfway decent. And this one even isn't that perfect or that well applied. A lot of orange peel and um, the Zamek. You can kind of see the Zamek through the paint, but yeah. Yeah, it's got some metal flake in it, so uh, it's not bad. And it's a different color because all, all the other ones are pretty much the same. And then we got the farm ones. These are taped up too. Got some uh, nice, nice field picture in the back. <laughs> kind of funny. So we got a uh, tractor, kind of a generic one, I guess. Got plastic wheels. Got a bunch of trailers. It's got a metal base, plastic body. Hello from Greece, Athens. Welcome. Moo Moo Fresh Milk. Funny. Here's a kind of a cattle trailer, I guess. This thing folds down. Also got the metal base plastic body. We got the horse trailer, got pretty thick metal base on this one, it kind of gives it some weight, Ooh, that's kind of weird. Got these posts, four posts in the back, only can fit one horse between them. But then the reason why I bought this was this Land Rover Defender 110. It doesn't say the Land Rover name on the base, that's strange. Because I assume it's licensed. Check the box if there's uh, some licensing info on there. Hmm, not really. Yeah, weird. Can't find any licensing info. Anyway, so uh, we got a sunroof here. So no details in the front. Uh, there's no details anywhere actually, tempo-wise. It's completely closed in the back, so the no windows in the door on on the side here. Spare wheel is also molded into the casting. Got some different style wheels, these are open spoked. Let's see if we can look inside there. So yeah. It's basic, but you know, the real car is basic too. No, not bad. I think it is it supposed to have windows here on top? No, that's the di discovery, right? This one does not have that, I think. So put some uh, trailers behind it to see what it looks like. It's got the, this huge trailer hitch. That's kind of kind of thick for the uh, opening on the trailer. Maybe the horse trailer you would probably easily see on this uh, defender being pulled by a defender so that's that one and then also got a silver one in the other box and some other trailers or recolors
Yeah, that's right, David. The Maisto trailer uh, hooks are much bigger than that. That is true. So we got the tractor. Only one color on it. So we got some kind of a dumper, but I don't think it's meant to uh, to be dumped. It's clicked in here and it's screwed here, so it does not have a working feature. Hi, S. Kushwaha. So we got a cattle trailer again in blue this time. And the horse trailer also in blue with the silver top. And here we got the silver Defender 110. Got a nice weight to it, you know, it's a lot of metal. Looks good. So that was that was HDI Teamsters. And then we get to Corgi. So like I've said, I don't have many. I have a few carded new ones well new old ones and then uh, I got a bunch of old ones and played with condition so these window boxes they uh, they kind of stack really nicely kind of a space saving storage system they have uh, developed here works very well and they kind of stay on top of one another very, very good and then you get the, the blisters so kind of like with matchbox you have the blisters and you have the window boxes I don't know JK I've never never pulled a horse trailer so uh, I have no experience with the uh, horses uh, not wanting to be in there but I can imagine uh, it moves around quite a lot. Yeah, I can imagine. Also depends on what car you're driving. When I had my uh, Peugeot 406 station wagon and I was pulling a uh, just a, a trailer where some stuff was on there, I could also feel it even when the stuff was not moving. Uh, not, not a great car for uh, pulling uh, trailers, in my opinion. So, we're going to open these up. I got them all from the Namak event, the swap meet. Uh, you can still find them there relatively easily, but they're not cheap, you know. Uh, this uh, The guy I got these from... I think the Nissan X Trailer is a proper car to uh, pull a trailer. So I got these, I think, from the same seller, although I'm not 100% sure. He still has a bunch of these. Hey, Fax, welcome. I'm fine, how are you? So I could have gotten many more of these, uh, all kinds of different ones, but you know, they're, they're kind of expensive. So uh, I don't get a lot of these. Also, you can see some have the name on the card and some don't. This one just says Mercedes. This one does not say Ferrari. This one says the full name on it, Renault Trafic. So, yeah, I don't know why they uh, don't mention the name sometimes. These are from the 80s. Uh, let's start with opening up the, the blister one. So this is what the back looks like. Uh, date on this is 1986, made in Great Britain. Corgi Toys Limited, Swansea, Great Britain. Hello, Kian Adriel Mendoza, welcome. So here we got the 
Ford Transit, made in Great Britain. Not a huge fan of these wheels. Yeah, in the 80s they still produced in uh, the UK. Alarm 0011, was that the uh, emergency number in the UK back then? Or maybe it still is? No. It says uh, it says in Dutch here, Brandweer. I didn't even notice that before. So that must, must have been the Dutch number for the uh, fire department. I'm guessing here. I'm not sure, but it's a pretty weighty piece. You've got a plastic base, but it's got a lot of metal on it. So even no window in the back. So it's, it's a van. Got some detail in the front, casting wise, but you know, only emergency tempos. We got kind of a mimicking a window here on the side that is silver. Yeah. Not bad. So this one, date 1984, still made in Great Britain. This one does have the name on the base. So the ones where it says just Corgi and not Corgi Juniors or something else, I don't have suspension. So the grill and the headlights and the bumper are part of the base and so is the rocker panel. And it seems to have a, a row of seats in the back. Uh, there's some stuff in there. It seems to look like seats but yeah, I think they are. So they probably also make a uh, window version of it. It's got uh, the double seat in the front. So it can hold three passengers in the front. First dyno rod. Emergency steering clearing and high pressure jetting. Okay. Kind of hard to read. Different styles of uh, wheels on this one. They're all red, I just re realized. That's kind of funny. I think uh, 1984 also, that year, they uh, used a lot of red paint. This is the most expensive one of all, obviously. Well, I'm going to open this one last because then we can kind of segue into the played with ones because I have one from my childhood collection. Yeah, Fex definitely loves red. His uh, Mitsubishi Lancer is red. And this is 1989. So this is the youngest one I have. And let's see, still made in Great Britain. So. That is uh, remarkable. Let's see which, which side gives way first. I think this one is. Mercedes 300 TD. So the T stands for uh, touring, I guess, station wagon, and the D stands for diesel. So this is not a turbo diesel. When it was a turbo diesel, it said turbo in So it's got that typical seat design that Mercedes had back then. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of a gap here in the bumper. Got the same wheels as the Ford Transit van. Base clips into the body. Yeah, no post either. Facts. So 
So yeah, I had to have this one for my station wagon collection, obviously, and I have a bunch of these from Majorette, so kind of goes nicely with them. So then we get to the Ferrari, like I said, 1984, made in Great Britain. Most expensive one, did get a little discount, but yeah. still a lot of money. But you know, it's a Ferrari. So Ferrari 308 GTS, it says on the base. Also says Ferrari on the side and on the front. With the prancing horse. Il Cavallino Rampante, different styles of wheels again, white interior, and a basic dashboard in a different color. So the reason why I had to have this is because I had one as a kid. This is mine as a, I had as a kid, the yellow interior with the no tampos on it. Maybe they've rubbed off. I don't know. Uh, and the window is broken. And the bumper piece in the back is broken off too. So, but you know, kind of cool to have a newer version of it. Yeah, the reason to have a Ferrari is because it is a Ferrari. That's right, JK. So, now I'm going to show some uh, played with ones I have. For those of you who don't want to see old stuff, thank you very much for watching. And those of you who do like to see played with stuff, we're going to continue. So we first going to show all the ones that just say Corgi on the base that do not have suspension, but some do have opening. This is also from my childhood collection. It's the AMC Pacer. Very cool vehicle. Bring it on, David Howard says. Yeah, JK91 watching, 17 thumbs up only. That's kind of a bummer but you know not going to complain about that anymore the more I complain about it the less thumbs up I get it seems I guess that's just how it works uh, so I've cleaned these all up before uh, the video so you can look at some nice cars and not dusty ones had some black stuff on the rear window I was able to remove that too yeah it's pretty cool facts um, it's interesting to notice have you got that in the red david cool must be nice too interesting to see how um what you had as a kid kind of influence influences what you like as a uh, grown-up thank you slime uh david johns from uh, who has the youtube channel called the worst youtube channel ever Found me one in his in one of his local local stores supermarket I think by Racing Champions so uh, that one is on my way here so that's very cool it's also in blue I very much like it Wayne's World yeah that's uh, what uh, most people know this vehicle from I knew it earlier than that because of this uh, nice miniature version of it. Uh, so, but when I encounter new versions of cars I had when I was a kid, not necessarily the same diecast brand, but other diecast brands, I kind of tend to like those too. And that's kind of here's a Ford Mustang Cobra. So these that only say Corgi on the base also tend to have some. Uh, Colorful, colorful bases, colorful bases. In this case, the base is black and the bumpers are part of the white interior. It's got yellow windows. That's kind of why interior looks a different color. But here we get a red base. Uh, it's kind of 
runs through half the vehicle. It does have lens headlights. Um, it's got an opening hatch. So, and uh, yeah, is this what they call a Fox body Mustang? I'm not sure. Yeah, I bet you uh, Hot Wheels makes uh, well Hot Wheels makes a lot of Mustangs, so they definitely will have made that one too. Here's the Ford Capri 3.0 S, so the Euro Mustang. Again, it got a red base, but no lens headlights. It got the four round lights in the front. This one has an opening bonnet so we got the engine detail that is molded into the interior or the base probably the interior it's got a piece of metal here in the front uh, detail wise on the inside these steering wheels are often a stump i guess that's where where mattel learned to do these stump steering wheels Also funny to notice that uh, Capri is bigger than the Mustang. I think in real life it's the other way around. But yeah, kind of cool. Here we got the Rover 3500. This is a very cool one. It's also got the opening hatch and the trailer hitch, but the stump has broken off. I wish there was a diecast brand that made this one nowadays new version with the casting abilities they have today could make a really cool version out of it really interesting styling on this big rover okay facts no problem see you in a few minutes this one's got a lighter color interior, so we can kind of look in there, but of course the windows are scratched up. This is also from my childhood collection. Well, all the ones so far I've shown from my childhood collection. So we've seen the Ferrari. I'll put that one in here. This one I bought in Germany at a very cool mall. This uh, Matra Rancho. So the black is part of the base. Says the uh, Mata molded into the front there. Mata was a French company, made a lot of quirky cars, very different from everything else we saw on the road. It's got a trailer hitch, and very interesting, it's got this fold down gate and kind of a window that opens up. That is very cool. That's really awesome. Oops, I forgot to uh, clean out the back, it seems. Sorry about that. So yeah, that's a very nice feature. I'm very happy to have found one that still has that. And then we got the Ford Transit that we saw in the uh, Dutch fire department. Here uh, in the uh, Porsche racing livery. So again, a very heavy piece. It's got a cool livery. Let's put that with the other transit. And then we get to Whiz Wheels. So Corgi Juniors, it says, and then Whiz Wheels underneath the Land Rover. Only have one that says Whiz Wheels. I don't have any info on the history of Corgi. Uh, unfortunately, I did not have time to look that up. So I apologize for that, but you can just look at the cars. Completely metal bed in the back, no plastic there. Trailer hitch has broken off. This is also from my childhood collection. And the Porsche van I bought that is for me too. Again, it has yellow windows.
here we get then we get to Corgi Juniors caravan or camper trailer for the Americans made in Great Britain hey welcome back facts so metal body plastic base and then the hook is uh, kind of a separate got it from a swap meet and I did not have an example of it so kind of tried to get as many different caravans or camper trailers as I can get from different diecast brands so lots of detail on the inside you got a kitchen area got a table in the back that you can probably convert to a bed well not with that post in the middle of it of course and then a, kind of a cupboard there in the middle where there's no windows yeah the door got stolen JK these are often missing these doors definitely when they have an opening feature obviously but even the majorette ones that uh, had the closed door were pushed open sometimes oh yeah you can uh, kind of uh, do some uh, pole dancing on the on the table facts yeah that's right that could be interesting so we've got some uh, vehicles here that uh, have the trailer hitch that's uh that's what it looks like like that looks kind of cool nice combination and they have the same rims so kind of fit in the same era i guess not a kogi not a kogi juniors the fiat x1-9 Got a red interior so you get some uh, red bumper detail here in the front you got the engine cover that opens up and you can kind of see some engine detail in there but i guess it's too dark to show it's kind of fiddly to put those uh, clips back underneath the metal there so I'm not going to try to attempt that. Maybe they break off then. The interior wise, these are not really that interesting with the, the stump steering wheels. But they have cool castings, you know, all kinds of stuff that no one else does. Hello, Love Aviation, welcome. Uh, by the way, the, um, the Kogi Junior ones, they have some kind of suspension, so. Not much, but something. It's just the um, this clip here that you can kind of push a little bit. See, kind of flex another Corgi Juniors, also from my also from my childhood collection. Corgi Juniors, Range Rover Police. Also has that little bit of suspension. Mobile brothels, JK. Wow, uh, I'm wondering how you uh, know that, but uh, won't ask any questions. Uh, the base clips into the grill here, or forms the grill, I should say. A little piece of sticker residue on the side, but most of it is gone. And then the base clips into the back also. How do they do that? How do you do two clips? Usually it's one clip and one rivet, but there's also rivets here, by the way. Very interesting construction. I think these had a stop sign up here, if I'm not mistaken. Too bad Saul isn't here. He could uh, tell us that, but I think it says stop here on top. The blue lights. Also got some suspension. So this, these were all childhood collection here. This one I got from a swap meet. It's got kind of a discolored base, kind of weird. Uh, base has kind of broken off, so I only can read a Terrier. Terrier to me is a dog, but you know. Corgi is a dog too, so that's not that strange. Uh, 
old metal casting and a plastic base. Also some sticker residue here on the side. It's got a, kind of a roll-up drawer in the back. It doesn't function. It's completely metal. And the window piece kind of has fallen down. I don't think it will go back to its place. Could kind of put it back by pushing in here in the hole. Oh, that's a Leyland fax. Oh yeah, it says here in the front, well, dummy. <laughs> I didn't see that, so yeah, that's why I got you guys to tell me that. Metal piece, got another, another metal van here. Okay, Love Aviation, thanks for stopping by. So, here's a Husky. Somehow related to Corgi, I don't know how, were these first called Husky and then became Corgis or did Corgi buy Husky? I'm not sure. Anyway, it's another dog that I can tell you. This has been repainted because it was originally yellow, as you can see, with the gray base. Also, kind of a sliding door in the back that is molded into the casting. You got the big moonroof here on top. And it's got two plastic sliding doors. Um, Let's see, yeah, I can show you. And it's got a guy sitting behind the wheel that is all die cast because it's part of the base, metal base. This door does not slide that well, so I'm going to leave it there. So I like to buy these even if they are painted in a different color, if they are complete so it's got the the door it's got the original gray wheels and stuff so that's uh, that's my criterion for buying stuff at swap meets they have to be complete they don't have to be mint or something but uh, they have to have everything still there here we got the jaguar mark 10 metal on metal Maybe your person has broken off fax in your uh, in your van. The uh, did I read what it was? The Comer walkthrough van. I don't think I did. Patent pending. So you got this light on top. This Jaguar. It kind of turns. It said something on the side here. I think it said fire. So part of the sticker is still there. Got the gray wheels. Oh yeah, here it is. Fire. It says so on the other side. Got a yellow interior. Proper steering wheel. Right hand drive. That is a cool Jag fix. That's right. Another Jag. The E-Type. 2 plus 2. A nice Kind of a maroon color. The rims mimicking the wire wheels. Also has a yellow interior. They got a discount on the yellow plastic that year. It's even got the husky dog uh, head here on the base. But yeah, these have suspension too, by the way. And the uh, this one too yeah this one too so these all have suspension pretty cool i'll put those here here's another one with the metal on metal ferrari berlinetta 250 gt so this also has some suspension this one's got a red-ish interior, or almost orange. Gets a separate chrome piece for the engine. Yeah. It's got some uh, paint issues here, the paint chipping off from a kind of a, yeah, old age. Not from being played with, because as you can see, the rest of the car is mint. 
just got some scratches on the windscreen windshield also in all the the husky farm trailer also all metal got some damage here and there but you know that's what you get with a farm trailer it's got the the back door the ramp still there for the cattle to walk on so and very old wheels on it rubber tires so pretty cool again complete got it from uh, swap meat all these oldies i got from swap meat because i'm not so here we got some with the plastic base so these are more recent ones well younger than the metal and metal ones studebaker wagon air kind of copying the uh, matchbox one i'm guessing got the plastic front end here it's also got the, the sliding roof piece like the matchbox one ones have but the see-through on this one is plastic the matchbox ones are metal and then this folds down too so it's an ambulance conversion so you got a seat with the nurse or the doctor and then some uh, cabinets in the back and then there would be a stretcher in here probably i don't know yeah, JK, that uh, sliding roof is, uh, is a nice feature. And it works pretty well. Still got the intact sticker on it. I was able to preserve that even when cleaning. You've never seen that before, Fax? Have you seen the Matchbox versions? Uh, I have shown them uh, on my videos, so you probably have seen them somewhere in the past because you've pretty much watched most of my videos since uh, July 2018, I think. You're one of my loyal supporters, just like uh, Andrew Bent, Andre. Thank you for that. Yeah, you probably have a fax, but you know, you can't remember uh, mostly, you know, stuff I watch. Uh, I've forgotten it after a week, what I've seen, you know, so it doesn't matter if you show stuff again. The Ford Camper. These uh, also have suspension also with the, the plastic clip that you can kind of push in. I had seen something interesting about one of these. So you got the plastic base, plastic grill, plastic camper part, and then the metal body. It's got a sliding door in the back. It still functions. So again, I got it at a swap meet. Everything is still here. It's complete. So even though it's got some uh, extra paint on there, I don't mind as long as it's complete. It's got the gray wheels. Yeah, looks really cool, like as dude. That's right. Got a pretty low stance too, so and it looks like a hot rodded camper. And then we got two Aston Martins. This one says DB6 on it, which I kind of doubt it is. Seems to have the well, the plastic tires. They're not rubber, but they're a separate part from the metal rim. It's from my childhood collection, so the bumper's broken off here. And the other Aston Martin is way cooler. It says James Bond's Aston Martin which if i remember correctly is the db5 so this one i got from a swap meet it's got a special feature 
got the jump seat that's pretty cool now I got this one because it was a little bit open on the top because I thought I have to pull it up like that so I can reach it with my finger I did not see when I bought it I had a lever here so yeah I should have bought one that had uh, the roof nice and uh, flat with the roof here but you know yeah I think a lot of uh, people have this in their collection but as I was mentioning about the DB5 and DB6 there it's exactly the same casting these two except for the roof part and the the jump seat part obviously so the left one is called DB6 and the right one is called Aston Martin's uh, James Bond's Aston Martin and if I remember correctly the Aston Martin one was a DB5 so something strange here with the names now I wanted to show that on the older Huskies, the metal on metal ones, they have also suspension. But it's a very special sp system. There's kind of a, a spongy thing in there, and then that kind of gives some some suspension. It's kind of hard to show because not a lot, but see, you can kind of press it down on the on the cushion, and that acts as a little bit of suspension. Kind of cool system. Works pretty well. So that's it for the Corgi, Corgis and the, their related brands. I kind of wanted to uh, do some follow-up on some previous videos. Remember I did the Dutch Diecast live video last week. And I opened up uh, this one, it was a br blister pool. And I um, talked about the, the trailer hitch. And they're saying I did not have any trailers, or I, I at least I forgot to check. Well, I checked afterwards because, of course, I had to know whether I had some or not. And I did find one trailer. And believe it or not, it fits exactly with this one. What are the odds, right? So I had totally forgotten about this one. I have a box full of trailers and camper trailers, caravans from all kinds of diecast brands. And this one was in there so it articulates a lot it's very easy to drive around with it it's got a spare wheel in the front it's got the plastic canopy on top too so yeah it's even got the trailer hitch here so you can add another one and make kind of a, a road train like they have in Australia so yeah I got these both and at a different time on the swap meet and uh, lo and behold, they are a perfect match. So that's pretty cool. And then I also wanted to do a, a Dutch quality diecast. Yeah, that is true diecast. These are really quality pieces, these uh, FC. All metal. I like them very much. Yeah, facts. Your road trains are insane indeed. I think if you have to pass one of those takes a while so I wanted to do remember the para 64 so the mirror issue I think the the thing to, uh, to say here is uh, you win some you lose some so here's the the green one I think it was called Panaka Mika, Panama Mika Green or something like that. So I put on the uh, side view mirror on this one. It uh, worked okay. I was able to put it back on the, the spot where it broke off with some of that, uh, that uh, fast drying glue. It looks okay from the front. But when you look uh, from the top, kind of see it kind of kind of warped before it broke off, kind of bent to the top. You can see it's kind of pointing upwards. So that's kind of a bummer. And I lost the left one. I don't know where it went. Probably fell through the hole in the in the base. So yeah, missing one of those. 
kind of a bummer, but you know, I got them cheap. This one, this one was still on. This one I had to re-glue. Uh, the rub, uh, the the paint rubbed off from me uh, fondling it with my fingers. I tried to grab it with um, something to pinch it, with a kind of a utensil, but it didn't work. It always slid out, so I had to do it with my finger. Uh, the mirror piece came off, the the, the sticker, so I had to reglue that too, and yeah, I lost some of the paint. So again, I was able to put it back on the spot where it cracked uh, but again it kind of was bent upwards before it broke off so it's also kind of pointing upwards I think you can see it best from the top so yeah kind of a bummer but you know it looks okay it's not uh, it's not as bad as the one that is missing one so those were the losers. The winners are the BMWs. Turns out these did not break off. They just got yanked out of their socket completely. So I could just put them back in with the, the, the tacky glue so I could make some adjustments before it dried. And uh, yeah, these came out perfect. So I locked out on these. So these are pretty much spot on in location and direction so uh, yeah it was a wild guess but uh, I locked out on these and I got some uh, some nice premium cars for uh, Hot Wheels money basically so happy with those not a lot of BMW in the, in the scale so even though they're a little bit too wild in styling for me you know just had to grab them see all lining up nicely in these mirrors happy with that so a little follow-up on the previous videos so that's it for this video Yeah, I don't think Nissan will ever stop uh, producing sports cars, JK. And they have a nice selection, you know. Um, as long as people are liking them and buying them, uh, they probably will make them. Uh, I don't think Mitsubishi still uh, makes a lot of uh, sports cars. They stopped with the Evo, I learned. And do they have something else, sporty? I don't think so. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of a bummer. So, we're already 1 hour and 12 minutes in. I thought this was going to be a short video. Thanks, uh, Diecast Dude. But turns out, again, longer than I anticipated. But that's usually the case with these live videos. Okay, JK, thanks. So the Evo was the last sports car from Mitsubishi. Have a nice rest of your weekend, everyone. For us in Europe, we still have half a day of weekend left. Past. Thank you all very much for watching. I don't know yet what I'm going to do next week because um, it says on the planning. It says on the planning, uh, Italian diecast, but I only got Mondo Motors. We got uh, like a handful of cars, so I'm not. I was kind of hoping I would have received some of the packages from uh, friends overseas that um, would have arrived, so I could combine that. But unfortunately, until now, nothing. Uh, thank you, R Rudy. Um, so um, I might skip the Italian ones for now. And wait till I get a uh, a trade box so I can combine that. So uh, probably skip to the. Uh, uh, no, sorry, T Tony, I don't uh, sell anything. 
I will probably skip to the Hong Kong diecast video uh, and do those first. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe uh, a box arrives this week, and I can uh, I can still go on with the planning. Just uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for participating in the live chat. Uh, thank you for those of you who gave me a thumbs up. I know who you are, uh, my loyal supporters. Uh, have a nice rest of your day or have a good night for those of you in Asia or Australasia. Yeah, it's taking long, uh, fax the, the boxes uh, I'm, uh, I'm waiting for. Whether it's from the United States or from Australia, they are blocked somewhere and not getting here. So anyways, um, thank you all very much for watching and for your nice comments and words. And uh, see you next week. Bye-bye.